Hello and welcome to Thinking Outside the Pod, episode 41. I'm going to be the host for this episode, Jimmy, and I'm joined by... Fisher. And Patrick. Oh, man. Uh-oh. Party crew. Yep, all back oh, together. All back together. For finally. one week and then... Oh, and then Jimmy's taking his annual pilgrimage to yeah. Antarctica. I'm not... Sweet. I'm having my staycation. My I, pork penguin. My PTO is going to go away, so I need to take it all. Um, but uh, but yeah, that's not until later. But um, how y'all have y'all been? How's uh, how's I've y'all been week been going? Great. I've had the best week ever. Oh, what happened? Lots of Explain. stuff. Let's Lots of stuff. Let's go first. Let's go first. That's what happened to me. <laughs> yeah, nothing to me. Nothing to you either. <laughs> oh man, really? Yeah. Come on, oh, you guys put me on the spot we on purpose to, like we, that. We're well, hey man, you asked for it. Yeah, I didn't ask to, for anything. I just said, <laughs> had a wonderful week. We have to live vicariously through you. Oh, we have those conversations yeah. before we started the podcast. So that's, I guess, Y'all already <laughs> planned this out, huh? Uh, oh, course. yeah. So? So? How was your week? How was your week? It was, it's or, been well, interesting. Okay, first of all, what, what, you weren't here last episode. What did you do last uh, Um Last weekend? weekend, my father had been admitted to the hospital to have back surgery on Friday, last Friday. Mm-hmm. So um, I came in Saturday morning and I worked, and then I had Saturday night and Sunday night off. Um... Monday I had off. He went into surgery Monday night about 7 o'clock, and he got out about 10 o'clock. Um, we got out of the hospital. Me and my brother went home. And then Tuesday, that's when I texted everybody, and Izzy, to, he was off, so he switched with me mm-hmm. so I could go hang out with my pops for a minute. Mm-hmm. So we are at the hospital hanging out with him. He's doing good. He got back home on Wednesday. Um, Tuesday, after I got out of the uh, hospital, I, uh, I met a girl. Her, she's beautiful. Her name is Summer. Oh, yeah, summer. I know you guys are already sick of hearing about it. I've been <laughs> talking about her like like crazy. Oh well. But uh, met congr- her on Tuesday. Went out with her. Had a great time. Uh, saw her again on Wednesday. Saw her on Thursday. It's almost been a week, I guess. But she's fucking awesome. Nice. Um, my dad's at the house. He's doing better. He's starting to move around more. Um, I think tomorrow he gets a walker, and we're gonna have to get him a wheelchair so that he can move around a little bit better. Yeah. Um, until he heals up, uh, the surgery on his back is supposed to alleviate some of the pain in his legs. So mm-hmm. he should be, you know, after his back heals up a while, he should be sure. a little I'm more better. mobile than he used to be. Yeah. Nice. But Good. for well, now, we gotta move him around in the yeah. chair. Well, oh, but still, it's only for you know temporary. Hopefully. Yeah. 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 I mean, wish well, him the best. Yeah. Congrats on on both parts of the, your life. Yeah. So my dad's better and. I'm better. <laughs> I'm way, way better, better dude. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, man. It's, not, it's like light and day on how much better I am now. Well, I haven't good. stopped smiling since Tuesday. Oh. <laughs> Except for this morning when you're half asleep. <laughs> oh, I, I even probably smile in my dreams, you know what I'm saying? That's right. I probably smile at night. Oh. I have the most like perverted dream sometimes. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> but you guys All right, tell us, all right, I guess, all right so you know what? Sure, tell us about it. <laughs> Tell us um, about one of these dreams. Well, it usually starts off with like some legs, and then as you look up, it turns into Abraham Lincoln looking person. Oh, and then no. in the house that I grew up in, with my car parked in the neighbor's yard, it, it gets kind of weird after that. So I'm just uh, I just. I think as most dreams kind of get a little weird. Yeah. But <laughs> have you had any recurring dreams like that you've had since like? You know a what? Child, like a there, recurring dream. There was one that I had a lot of times, uh, more than more than once, more than a handful of times. For the life of me right now, I can't remember it. But that now that you said that, like yeah, there was a dream. That I had multiple times. I'm gonna think about it this episode. If I can remember what it was, I'll bring it up 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 again. But uh, there was something really. It was a really weird dream that I had more than like one, maybe more than two or three times, and it happened like at different stages of my life. That's why it was yeah. kind of strange. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Same. Same here. My. Uh, whenever I was a, a I, I don't know when I start, first had the dream, but I was like a, a kid, and I'm running. Shepherd. Huh? You were a kid shepherd running <laughs> through the field. No, I was. <laughs> sure. I'm, I'm a kid running through like uh like an arcade, but it's like 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 a kitty arcade. So there wasn't like electronic games, but there was like like a like, like a, a Chuck E. Cheese. Like, yeah, like a Chuck E. Cheese, and there's like a ball pits and like slides and things like that. I was sure. running through like an indoor one of those, and then I went to like some like dome, like one of the domes that had like the shapes cut out where you can push. Like the Thunder Dome? Um, no, it was like just a plastic <laughs> dome and it had like cut outs of like stars and like squares. like a playpen type deal. Yeah, thing. And, yeah, but it was a teleporter or something. And oh, wow. It, or like, I guess it was a teleporter and you like could teleport, but so I never got, I never in, got the teleport. Was it in the Chuck E. Cheese or was it just running through something that it was, was like, like a, a Chuck It was like a Chuck E. Cheese, like a building and it was like dark, Kind of like you know, like kind of like a kiddie place, like 
I guess I don't know, and Maybe, I was just going into that and it teleport, but I never went past that. Like I think, I, I just, think um, that mo that that's a subliminal. Um, I, I like to play therapist. I always try oh. to look up like weird dreams. Hashtag I have. the rapist. Is that what you? Yes. Want? Hashtag yes. no rapist. <laughs> hashtag dream no rapist. Hashtag dream, dream the rapist. Dream the rapist. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I think you, as a kid, running through that stuff. It is like you're stuck in your childhood because you can never get to the teleportation that takes you to adulthood. Oh, snap. <laughs> what do you think about that? I don't know. For it's, good it, BS, I mean, I don't really know that that's... It's possible. Well, yeah, I mean, I, and stuff. I've had that multiple times. I don't remember the last time I've had it, but every time I had it, I would wake up and be like, oh, man, it's that one dream again. That's weird. Oh, I thought you'd be like, I woke up and I was like, I gotta grow up. <laughs> like, <laughs> I, see? <laughs> then I did my taxes. <laughs> I did my taxes. <laughs> they weren't due for months, but I did. <laughs> <laughs> I send them in early. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, that was, that, that's really like the only. When was the dream. last time you had that dream? Oh, I can't even remember. It's, but it's been like a while back. Yeah, I, I haven't had. Have, I haven't like had said. dreams like recently, and like I don't. Well, because or I you're can't all remember. Up on energy drinks, and you can't sleep, <laughs> you and then sleep. when you well, do I, get to sleep, it's because you like crashed and burned into like the third level of sleep. No, I don't know. I well, when I do sleep, I I just don't dream. I don't know. It's just I, I want to dream. I want to be like because I'm kind of like every time I'm writing like stories and stuff and things and I would like to dream about that and just let my dream subconscious like just you gonna like make figure a more, out more of an effort to focus in I on try stuff, dude, whenever because... I with whenever I turn off everything in my room and I'm like in the dark about to go to sleep I'm like I'm thinking about like the story and I'm like please dream about that so I can be like so I can figure out all the problems and plot devices that I want in my dreams I can just wake up and just know it and not have to yeah I fall asleep with the TV on a lot of times so like I'll be watching zombie movies and it'll be like oh, no. and I'll start dreaming about the zombies and I wake up at like four in the morning and like my TV will be like <laughs> chainsaws and shit I'm like fuck why do I watch this no, shit at no. night yeah, say, most of my dreams are usually like it's like weird things Girls? this has happened at oh. work and stuff like that or it's usually like if I play video games the night before, sometimes just aspects of video games will just pop up just in random places. Like I can't, well, I can't ever get a, I can't remember afterwards. It's like one of those I may remember for like five minutes after they say I wake up. You have up, to write them down as soon as you wake dream up. Dream yeah. I've done that a couple times. Yeah, I've tried to remember it like throughout the day, and then at the end of the day, it's gone. So I remember like, maybe really bits and cool yeah, I remember bits and pieces, but then I can't, I can't ever make a coherent whole because it's like it never really makes. My dreams Much never make sense. sense. Yeah, it's, just, oh, no. it's like ra random bits of pieces of little things, and you're like, I think what the like hell? last night I had a dream. I pulled in uh, my some old car into the old place that I used to stay at. It, I parked in my neighbor's yard, and I went next door to my place, and uh, there was these weird things hanging from the trees. I don't remember what they were, but it was something really weird hanging from the trees. This was just last night too, and then I walked back out, and my car had all these stickers all over it. Like, like little, not it was like NASCAR style stickers, but real little bitty ones, like all over the place. And I was like, "What the fuck does this mean?" You know? <laughs> oh man, let's see if I can play a therapist. Let's see, go, go. Oh, crap. Okay. Dream the so, rapist. <laughs> oh man, so trees represent growth. With stuff hanging out. And, and you have things that are on the tree that are kind of like your mistakes and regrets in life. So. While you grow, sometimes you have regrets, and Hanging they're, over, over and they're, over and they're still there, and you're yeah, you're not letting them go, so you're not dropping them. And the stickers on your car, I mean, that's... tiny NASCAR stickers everywhere. I think that means like, and I've I've kind of researched dream, kind of things, and I think that means you like guys. Oh, oh shit! Man. I think that's what that means. Uh, it, you stickers said, up. You said they were little <laughs> stickers. Oh my god, yeah, they were. Little oh stickers. man, it's yeah. midget midget yeah. men. If they're big stickers, <laughs> it means I you like women. Like no. <laughs> You like oh, that? Uh, <laughs> that was a that was a skit on QI, <laughs> I think where, it's where everyone men. everyone would like tell a dream and be like, yeah, that means you like men. <laughs> you <laughs> like, like the guys. It's you like, really like it's the like chick. I was dreaming of my wife and she was she was cooking dinner and like, yep, you like guys. That means you like guys. <laughs> she was cooking dinner. Oh, you say? Oh, oh, geez. oh shit, man, no. if they were cooking breakfast, that'd be totally different. I should bring in because I've done the dream journal thing. We I should, should we, you should bring that in. I, I think we should start a Todd Pod um, analyze your dream hashtag like, called uh, oh, Dream the Rapist there, hashtag Dream the Rapist there's at a, Todd Pod. There's oh, a there's a website where you can insert your dream and it picks out keywords and like tells you what that means. So that'd be oh. a, a good thing to try. We should um, do that when I, I should I should see if I can 
can find it. It's like a, no, a text document somewhere in my computer. I should have it. Foster him. It's not that much. Write down like, every dream you have when you wake up for like the next till till we do that episode. <laughs> I think they, try why is it got to be me? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm going to do it too. Yeah, not just you write down my dreams as well if you're going to write on you. Just call each other on your, I'll, I'll know. on your morning calls when you call each other. Foster, are you in my dream? Is it like, yes, I'm here. Yeah, it's like, oh, yes, that'd be weird if like you two have like the same dreams. Like, what oh, the hell God. are you doing in here? <laughs> what are you doing in here? Yeah, this I is think, my dream. I, I think I've you? only done it twice, because I can only... Usually the dreams are real short and stuff, but only twice have there been actual, like... Or two or three times, so I have that. And there's some weird stuff. I remember, like, my old job, I used... And there was, like, a, a KISS tour bus, like, in my dream. KISS tour bus? Yeah. And they were, like, kissing on people? No, like, KISS oh, the, the band. Oh, right. the band. The band, a tour bus. And like, probably, Gene probably Simmons like was, like, in a wheelchair, and, <laughs> and I got on there, I was in a wheelchair, and he wouldn't let me pass or something, and then I, I don't remember what happened. Maybe Dream, I, I need to, Gene I need to. Simmons is subconsciously holding you back from kissing across America. Oh, snap. Dude, I'm fucking awesome. Patrick. Hashtag the rapist, guys. The rapist Patrick. No, not the rapist Patrick. Hashtag That's already the right. therapist. The therapist. <laughs> the, the rapist. The, the, the rapist, rapist Patrick. Patrick. No, no, just hashtag the, the rapist at Tat Pat. Okay, and we'll, we'll do that. Your I, I think we definitely should. I should find that document because I know there's like two or three dreams that are just weird. Well, I mean, I've had those dreams before where like you're punching like you're underwater or you can't run away fast enough yeah like, well yeah there's like certain elements in dreams that are like universal like driving your car from yeah. the back seat i've had that that's, a few times that's, i've totally that's had a, that like, seat before that's a lot of a lot, of a lot of people have had that dream no, i think that means you like men barreling down a hill <laughs> a or something man? like that, yeah, I've had, I've had <laughs> that one before. yeah have you ever have you ever had like the the dream paralysis Thing. No. No, or, I've had like the falling dream where you're like, you're like, I have, wake up like, what the fuck? Yeah, just several happened? times. It's it, for me, it's always weird because it's like, whenever I have that, it's always like I'm falling out of, like an airplane or a helicopter or something like that. And I always land in a body up, of water. Really? Because yeah, it's, it's they always really say odd. that you always wake up right before you hit. Well, but, but it's hit. but it's, it's I'm going to land in water, but then like right you as up. I hit, that's when yeah. I wake up. Yeah, that was one of the weird things I heard is that that nothing bad will ever happen to you, no matter how bad you feel about it in your dreams. It's like when you're in a fight and you're trying to punch, you never get beat up, but you just cannot hit the other guy. Um, when they're chasing you, running, you're running so slow, they don't ever catch you, but it's just that fear of not being fast enough that's fucking you up. You yeah, because every time I've had a nightmare like that, it's always like, you know, it's like always like in the horror movies, just when you're about to die, right before it, that's usually when like I wake a, up. Yeah, I've, I've like had like a, like a quick, like, jerk reaction and woken myself up. Yeah. But I, I don't remember falling. I've never. I don't think I've ever. I probably have, but I don't remember any falling dreams. But I've had the dreams where I've like, like, like I wake up and I just can't move. It's like what? the weirdest feeling. Dude, like, I think that's called alien proving, bro. <laughs> you snap. Maybe. Oh, knock on wood. Huh? Maybe. <laughs> Is there like a bright I, light around when you open your eyes? And like, and like, and like, and you mentioned it. <laughs> then when I get up, wow. it's like it hurts to walk and sit down. <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> so things don't oh, know. I think that means <laughs> aliens. Why is Patrick visiting that's, you? I don't know. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Uh, I've had a, a hashtag the rapist house visit. There you oh, go. Oh, no. the, the, the therapist. That's hashtag the therapist. You have to spell it wrong just so. No. <laughs> It'll be Tot Pod Therapist. So let's say Tot Pod, Pod the, the rapist. rapist. Oh, no. oh boy. Tot Pod Therapist. Psychiatrist. Let's just call a psychiatrist. No. no. Let's make it fun. <laughs> Tell us your dreams, people. If we can make them come true, I will. Oh snap! Oh, oh no, you got summer now, so we'll we have to make. You guys will look. You, you we got two very nice hunks of meat right here. You guys. All right. We need you guys uh, to <laughs> hashtag hunks of meat at Tide Pot. Oh no. Oh boy. Um, but uh, but yeah, that was uh, so yeah, dreams definitely. I'll I'll see if I can find that document and bring it in at some point. And yeah, if y'all have any weird I'm dreams, always, like, write them down. Weird dreams, because I'm interested in knowing what the fuck's up in my head. You and know? we'll we'll pull up we'll pull up and yeah we'll pull up that website and see what like keywords pull up and things like that. That'd be that'd be pretty cool. But uh, but other than that kind of stuff, I mean Thanksgiving was last Thursday. I mean I had a pretty decent Thanksgiving. Nothing so Make some special. Turkey. I mean yeah. sides. Yeah, I ate a lot. I had to work that day, and I. I ate a lot, and then I came, came into work, and there was more food more. and pie and yeah. stuff. So I lost five pounds since last week at the oh. gym. Nice. Yeah. Really? Yeah. You're, you're running a lot. I need to do that. That first week, I gained, uh, what was it, like three pounds? Because I was like 265, no, no, two, 230-something, and then I went up to like 238, 
And I was like, fuck, I've been doing it a week and I gained three pounds. Well, so that's like, actually kind of normal. It's one of those, of, it depends on what type of workout you're doing. If you're doing mostly running and stuff like that, yeah, generally you're going to lose, you know, you're going to lose weight. But then also, like, if you're doing muscle training and stuff like that, I you're going to you're gonna, you're gonna lose a little bit and then you'll probably gain a little weight as yeah, fat turns the muscle. Muscle weighs uh, more than fat, right? Yeah. That's what I've heard. I got tons of it. Yeah, because yeah, that's one of those, so back when I, it, it was kind of funny because with, like the body mass index and stuff like that according to doctors like when i was playing football and i weighed like 220 according to body mass index i was overweight but you were this obese is, but yeah yeah it's just like silly but it's like i'm sitting there you know really I, I was in from the cafeteria <laughs> <laughs> but no but at that time i was like really in shape and fit and stuff like that but it's because it doesn't take into account that muscle weighs more than fat but it you just were in the body of weight. like a 20 year old because <laughs> 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 you didn't you were bigger i bet but yeah i think i think my upcoming <coughs> vacation a lot of it's going to be i'm going to be Get get good sleep and then work out because I I do have a gym pass and I need to really <laughs> do it man do it I, I mean, need to I just I just can't I, after work is when I want to do it but it's closed and uh, then I can't wake up early because I can't get to sleep uh, so so I'm kind of just like God dream dang about it. working out that's and what then I'll make do. it happen maybe or see it and then happen. like Inception like if you die in your dream you you die so that's if like I work, the Matrix too if I work you die out, in the Matrix you die don't you well yeah. I mean that's kind of different. No, I mean, it's like better than obsession. <laughs> obsession, <laughs> whatever obsession. that is called, obsession. Inception. 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 Obsession. Inception or Matrix. I don't know. Inception for women. I never. I didn't really like the the second two Matrix. I never yeah. even seen. As far as I know, there's only one Matrix. Yeah. yeah. Okay. For all intents and purposes, yes, there's only one Matrix. Yeah. Just don't even bother with the second yeah. two. It, yeah. Those are good movies. But uh, but yeah, Thanksgiving kind of kind of boring to me. Nothing. I nothing was really. working too, so I ate. Uh, um, I brought, no, 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 what did I do? I did stuff. I ate, and then I came here, and I ate, and then I had pie. Yeah. Um, I went and saw my girl Summer for a little bit. I took her some food, and then I came back over and hung out with you cats until it was time to go home. I wasn't here. I was actually off. Yeah, because oh. you suck. Hey, I didn't ask for it off. I just <laughs> got magically got it off. Thanksgiving Grinch over here not trying to hang out with anybody. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, I hung out with my family. Black Friday? Did y'all do any shopping for Black Friday? I uh, went out Thursday night. I bought a Google Chromecast for my girl, but we can't hook it up to her TV properly, so now, uh, like, after we tried, like, I went over for lunch the other day, I tried to hook up her computer to it, couldn't figure out how to do it, um, and then she calls me when I'm leaving, she's like, we used to just hook up an HDMI cable from the laptop to the TV, and I was like, oh, shit, I was yeah. like, why couldn't I think of that shit, I'm like the... You well, know, but still, for thirty bucks, at least, at least you're not. Spending they're on sale like, for twenty some odd dollars. I think it's like oh, really? twenty eight dollars now with tax after tax. Twenty eight and change, probably. Oh, that's I, not too bad. I, I mean, kind of remember when they first came out. Where they was it like a deal? Because I remember them being like twenty bucks or something. Was I thought they were thirty. I thought thirty. I, thought 30 or 40 I, I never, I never looked at them. They were thirty nine ninety nine, and I think the the middle of this year they got down to like thirty five, and like right now you can pick one up for like twenty eight dollars and that, with change, and that's that's with tax. Because mm -hmm. yeah, I mean the concept's cool, but yeah, I mean it, it sounds interesting, but it's like. You you know, there's many HDMI cables. I mean, like you can get an HDMI cable to plug in pretty much any device that has a screen to your TV. But the thing is, the longer the length of those cables, the more they're going to charge you for it. Or with this thing, we can sit here and put it at a TV across the room. You know what I'm saying? Well, yeah, but I mean, but then if you're using more wireless, then it's going to lag and stuff like that. I mean, there's well, it attaches itself to your Wi-Fi, so if you got a pretty good strength connection on your Wi-Fi, you shouldn't really have any problems. With yeah, it. I mean, it's if you're in like an apartment by yourself and you're the only one using your Wi-Fi, by all means, yeah, that's a great deal. But if you have like a bunch of family members and they're streaming a lot of stuff, you're probably going to have some issues with it. I, yeah. I would guess. I mean, yeah, I, I could be I've completely off bases. If, I, if I'm lying, I don't know. In my, I mean, it makes sense. And the mean, way that I've experienced Wi Fi, that's usually tends to be the case is if, you know, like when I'm streaming, like if I'm on the Wi Fi, like at my place, well, like it'll maybe, mess up like, my parents' maybe TV. Like eight like years that, ago, so. you know what I'm saying? I think nowadays they've got it worked out. Well, it depends on how much bit rate you're you using. Well, I mean, streaming uses and a I, I bet the Chromecast uses a lot of. Wi-Fi anyway, because I mean it's got to transmit. It's streaming audio and Stuff video. To it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. From the computer to your. But yeah, you know, like like what was to, it like four or five years ago? They had those commercials like you're talking about, where the family sitting in the living room, they're like, "Why can't we use this?" You know, but I think they've got most of that. Oh, it's by now. yes, it is better, but still there is always still a drag on it. A limit that you know, if if you use enough, 
it's going to start, you know, wireless. It's like here when we tell everybody to get off the Wi-Fi so we can like check our Facebook because yeah. everybody's yeah. sitting around it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly, so I mean, it's yeah. the same thing. I mean, if you have multiple Wi-Fi devices that may, inter yeah, I don't know if they interfere this much anymore, but I mean, they used to really interfere with each other and stuff like that, but you know, I think it just depends on what you're using. Yeah, but I mean, yeah, it's don't get me wrong. The Chromecast is a very cool idea. I like the idea, but it's one of those of well, it's you know, why of would I want to use my phone to stream when I can just go over to my desktop or I can just use like my PlayStation Four to basically stream. What if the same you don't content? have your desktop around? What if you don't have your? Yeah. What if you have a monitor like say over here somewhere? Yeah, that's the, that's why monitor. Chromecast exists. I mean, and it's more yeah, it for, for, phone and for those kind of options. The, but you know? and like if you if you just hardwire HDMI to it, it's going to be a lot better anyway. I mean, yeah, they won't I mean, have any problems. I do like to do that. I do that in order to work from here to there, because with the Chromecast, I can't work off of my computer. I can only show stuff off of uh, yeah. Chrome. Yeah, whatever you, so you know, in Chrome. But, like, the cool thing is, so you take that to, like, somebody, to Jimmy's house, and you have your cell phone, you're like, oh, check this out, and you hook it up, and you put it on your phone so you can see it on the TV, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, it's cool. I Whenever it first came out and I saw it, I was like, that's something I could, because, I mean, I use Chrome. Oh, that's the only thing I use, and then... I do have a TV that's across the room, and I could do HDMI. I have uh, a long, pretty long HDMI. I probably could do it, but I just haven't done it. So I think Chromecast, I can just plug it in and just be like done with it. But I always thought it was a cool concept, so maybe. Well, what is it like? Amazon just released their like little version of that, and I think uh, Samsung's got a version of it as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, probably. I mean, I, so, I yeah. haven't looked it up. It's not something that you know. For me, if I'm gonna, you know, I'll tell you, I've got my desktop. I've got plenty of streaming boxes already i've got you know all the consoles they all stream the content so it's like a, you know for me it's not useful i mean yeah. i've got tablets i've got all sorts of stuff that i i have enough darn screens where i don't for me it's not very useful well, if you've got the like i said we got the xbox or the ps1 you can get all your stuff on your tv through that anyway then yeah yeah, yeah. It's, it's 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 good for the people that it's good for sure oh yeah, yeah. like I mean, anything yeah. Well, like obviously. i said say you want to Go show Jimmy something. You don't want to take your Xbox. You know what I'm saying? Well, I'll pull out a phone or my tablet or something like your, that. Yeah. You know, I, I would preload it on a tablet or something, and then you know, take here. your tablet. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's so it's cool. If you said you're going to be uh, using it. I'm gonna either I'm gonna take it in and either sell it to my friend or I'm gonna keep it myself. Um, well, if you if you do I'm, it, tell us how it is. See I'm how. trying to. Uh, maybe I'll bring it in before I do. If I do sell it, I'll bring it in. And we'll give it a test run just to try it out because I'm curious. I never used it before. I just bought it for her because I thought it would really. You know, I thought she was, because she, she says that she always watches her movies on her phone, and then, like, you know, you're just falling asleep when you drop your phone, and, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I was like, well, let me try to be sweet and do something nice, and it kind of backfired, and I felt like an idiot when she was like, yeah, you know, we used to hook well, up the cable to it, and I was like, yeah. I mean, so, it does have, like, it's, you said it has, like, apps like Netflix and YouTube, like, built built into it, right? Well, do you go, or you just go through it, Chrome. Oh, and you is open it? I think Chrome. you use it on your phone. So There's not third-party apps on, the, on it. It's on the, just, uh, well, I, it's I, just... I, Tab sharing. Basically, what, what <coughs> I think it does is I think it literally takes like whatever your screen is on your phone and then just puts Pops it on the monitor. Okay. So it's okay. A, it's, it's, it's basically the same thing as an HDMI cable, just it's, it's a wireless HDMI yeah. cable. So okay. It's more or less what it is. But it but it's just through Chrome. Just yes. Whatever you can open in Chrome. You can... I would have to imagine so. If it being Google. I think yeah. I, I'm pretty sure that it's just from Chrome. From what I understand, it's just from Chrome. Now, when the dude installed it, like some of the videos I saw, when he installed it, he installed it through uh, Safari and he installed it through Internet Explorer. You could probably update it and stuff like that. To do more, I would have to assume. I mean, I you know. But after you go I to the site, you can like make it full screen on your on your monitor, and then it has a little option to click on there, and it'll send it to the Chromecast, and it'll put it on your TV screen. Mm -hmm. Well, let us know. So if yeah, you, if we'll, you do we'll try it, or you bring it in. Yeah, we'll give it a test. Um, time. And you said you had bought something for Black Friday. You said you went. Uh, Wii U. Uh, Wii U. Finally, best dude. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Does it have Pokemon for that yet? No, they're never. They're, it's, Damn it. They well, they have. I think they have Pokemon games, but not an actual. Pokemon like RPG it, yeah not, not like on the uh, Game Boys and stuff like that well a new one came out what last Friday yeah. two Fridays ago last new episode one. we what? talked about the new Pokemon, new Pokemon really Alpha what did y'all tell me because you, you were off you were out somebody should have called me man <laughs> come on they're awesome I mean yeah, you played through what's it, what's it on uh, 3DS. 3DS what the fuck is that <laughs> it's the, their, their <laughs> newer reason? Game Boy yeah. a Game Boy yeah well, it's, it's like a DS so dual screen Dual, dual screen. screen. So it has the, the touch screen bottom and then the screen at the top. And it's but it's 3D. 3D. So the oh, top nice. screen is 3D without glasses or anything. Well, because it was awesome because you, you played through uh, Crystal, not Crystal, but uh, uh, Emerald a little while yeah. ago. And it's basically updated version of Ruby and Sapphire. And they added some new content and stuff like that. It, new I'm, Pokemon? No, well, 
Not necessarily new Pokemon. Right. Like they added some from like X and Y and stuff like that. Like they've they've got like oh well, actually it's like they added Mega Evolutions, which was something new they added. Mega in X and Evolution. Y. Yes. So like Where, something after Charizard. Yeah. What? Yes, they added that in so X can, and Y. Yeah. You know I can evolutionize my Rayquaza. Yes, they actually added that in this one. That's actually new for Gingor, this one. What's that other whale one? Evolutionize. Like, what is it called? Evolution. Wait, how do you make evolve? Mega evolve. Evolve. Whatever. Mega evolve. Because it's one of you, <laughs> it, it's. A, they added story. To, they added some extra content in the game to kind of just kind of shoehorn it in there. But I mean, it's it's you know I, I'm enjoying it. I mean, I, I've you played it. it. I've been playing it. That's on what I've been playing. On your Wii U? No, on the 3DS. Oh, I got okay. this before I got the Wii U. All right. But you bought a Wii U. How's that been going? Uh, pretty much I've only played Mario Kart a little bit. I mean, I, Which I've, is like the best game ever. What, oh, what, what does the screen on the, the controller do for Mario Kart? It, the, like, you can either have, like, the map on it. Oh, okay. It can have, like, the, the whoever, you know, like, uh, oh. placements and stuff like that. Or what you can do is you can actually play the game just from the tablet itself. Oh, you okay. can spit on it. And uh, the idea is, like, if somebody else needs the TV, they can change it or whatever, and then you can play it. The only issue that I had with it is I found that the range is only about like maybe 15 feet. Oh, the range? So the range. 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 So it's like I can't go from my room and like go sit in the living room and play it. I have to be within uh, a yeah, decent distance from I mean, the, the that, console, which makes sense because it's, you know, it's basically trying to stream it, you know, with like a little Wi-Fi signal or whatever. That's but, not um, cool. Well, yeah, I mean, it, I, it's a cool idea, but for me, it's like I, I have... So you can't you know, sit too space. far away from it? Sure. 15 feet, he said. So, I mean, it's... Like, it's you, you have decent size. Decent living room Nobody's size. Nobody's like, yeah, you know, you're not going to... If you were playing video games, I'll have trouble sitting, like, no closer than, like, three feet away from it. You yeah, know but, what I mean? but you're not going to be able to do it, like, on one side of the house and then play on the... the well, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, into, when I'm playing video games, I'm into it. So, I'm, like, I'm as near to the TV as well, possible. Well, I mean, the controller the has a screen on it. Yeah. I mean, oh, so you can like go to the shitter and play on it. Yes, it, as it, long as it, it's, it's within about 15 feet from the console. So you might have to like put your TV on a roller box and roll it with yeah. you to so outside the door. A really yep. long console cable. Just sit from there. Your TV. Yeah. Oh, it's connected with a cable. It's not wireless. Well, no, I mean, no, 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 it is wireless. The, there's a console that's connected to the TV. Okay. And then you have a controller that's wireless. Connects to the console, ah. so that that is the part that only like 15 feet. So we just got to drag the box. We got to get like a pretty decent entertainment center thing with wheels and wheel that shit around. Yeah, because technically, what you could do is you. I don't think you even have to plug into a TV because you can access the menus from what the was back it that controller. Like, what, uh, what the PlayStation did with that? What is it? The PS? Vita. Vita. Yeah, yeah that thing was awesome. I thought. Yeah, it, it's essentially. Sony's version of the Wii U controller because and so they have that kind of thing where like you can play within so like around your house you yep. can play outside your house with that thing as long as you're like so on the same network range. or something yep. or whatever. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Something like it's, that. it's the same. Fucking it's the same like principle, but unfortunately, it doesn't connect through the it doesn't connect through your router. It connects directly to the console, which is why you have to be within range of the console, not in your Wi-Fi range. So I cool. mean, that's I wonder know, is that like the same concept as like wireless phones like that. 4.8 gigahertz. Do you think it's like the same, like hmm. how those connect to headsets? To or, home. Yeah. You mean Bluetooth? I don't know if it's Bluetooth. Uh, I don't. How do you? How do? How do like Xbox controllers connect to? Is it infrared? Microwave? I don't know. I don't. I don't I don't I know. Have, I've never I know, looked at the, the Wii I've, was You know, infrared. it just works, okay. Jimmy. It just the, works. The original Wii controllers. I don't know if the newer ones are the same thing. I'm pretty sure they're infrared. Um, I don't know about the Sony and Xbox. I mean, it's it's line of sight. Infrared is line of sight, so it can't go through. Yeah, because because like yeah, because for the Wii, you you needed the sensor bar. Mm -hmm. Where with like the Xbox and the Sony, you didn't have a sensor it bar. Was it, a line it, of sight. It, so I think else. it was like Wi-Fi or something or Bluetooth or something like uh, that. Bluetooth. I think it's I, yeah. I, I I need to look that up. I never. I, for I no mean, reason. It's an interesting but, question, but yeah, definitely because you, you didn't need a sensor bar for. All the other consoles. So I mean, it, it can't F be censorship, bro. That's all I want to say. <laughs> F the government, man. I'm all anti-censorship. Censor bar this, but bro. But the Wii U, that's Mario Kart. I'm enjoying cool. it so far. Yeah, I mean, I've, you know, because uh, the bundle I got came with a bunch of games. So I'm just like, right now, I'm just like, all right, I'll go through Mario Kart first. Have you gone like looking through like the games that it have? They have up for it. Yeah, game selection. You is have you any of like the good stuff they got yet? Uh, well, or Mar anything you've seen that you want? Oh well, there's uh game called Bayonetta 2, which I really want, because I play... Bayonetta what? Bayonetta. Bayonetta. Bayonetta, yes. Like a bayonet. It's, yes, but with, yeah. But Bayonetta. It, it's, with a ta and a two. It's one of those, like... Bayonetta. Have you ever seen, like, the, the, the Japanese, like, super 
Like Highways? action movie, oh. like it's like action movie, like combat stuff. Like, have you heard Devil May Cry? Yeah, dude. It's like those. It's like a more. It's, the first one was very cool. Yes, I, I love the first Devil May Cry. Three was actually pretty good too. I never played any. Three was games. hard as hell, but it, it was good. Yeah, I've had one of them, it. and I've heard it was really hard. I never played it. I have played all of them. PlayStation Two. And I think I had it. One and three were the best. And then two was super disappointing. And then four was okay. It wasn't bad, but it also wasn't very good. They have um, four of them, but it's yes. like it's like that kind of style. Yes, it, that reminds me of like those like Castlevania games. That's why I like it. Kinda, but not not like the side, but no, more like was, my, more like the the three D ones. Yeah, yeah. yeah, a little bit. It was really cool, but it was more quick combat and stuff like that. More combo oriented. More you know, can you c juggle? C c combo. Yeah, juggling like six guys <laughs> all at once. That kind of stuff. Killer Instinct's the game they need to bring back. They did again on the Xbox One. Really? Yes. Killer Instinct is that the arcade? It's a, game? It's a fighter. Yeah, it was. A, it was a. It was a. What I think Rare did it, and it was. A, it was like Glacius, was a Cinder, Saber Wolf, Fulgor. Oh no! They there's a video like a there's a video series called Did, you, Did you Know Gaming, and they talked about that. That's where I heard it. See, because I, I never played Killer game. Instinct Hell as yes. a kid, so I mean, I, I I knew what it was. I had seen pictures of it and like videos of it, oh but God, I never actually best. played it. I'm sure I played it. I mean, I went. I've been to like arcades a lot, but but I I don't remember for at sure. At my work but, at Ripley's, believe it or not, they had the the game there. So at lunchtime, our managers would unlock it and like pump <coughs> so credits into it, and we'd sit there and just like jam at each other. Yeah. And like the uh, it like uh, before that it was like. Kill, uh, like Mortal Kombat, Street Fighter, but none of those games had done those kind of combos yet. Mm -hmm. After the fact, that's when Mortal Kombat started making their combos. That's when Street yeah. Fighter started putting combos. But like the fact that you could like use different, but like you know, you're hitting forward and then you you uh, you hold forward and hit this button twice, push back, hit this one once, and then do like a fireball at the end. Mm -hmm. That was fucking insane. Like yeah. just the way you could control that. Yeah. Because you're like holding towards them, walk up to them, you hit them, boom, boom, twice, back in this button, boom, does something else, and then you finish them off with a fireball, like an uppercut, mm -hmm. and it'd be like a three, four hit, and then they had like the ultra combos and stuff like that. Yeah. It was I intense. I've never played a fighting game like that. I've always button mashed. Marvel Dude, versus like, uh, Capcom any... is really big on combos and stuff yeah, like I've that. Yeah, I've never, never, like Mortal Kombat, all those games. Always, it's always. See, where the dude that would win with like put holding down just like quick foot yeah, swings. Yeah, of course. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's my combo. I've I seen hit, that happen. I hit X a lot. Yeah. <laughs> that's always the worst feeling when you lose to that and you're like, ah, oh, I couldn't quite figure out how to get yeah. over it. <laughs> you're, like, you're just in the wall just punching. You're like, damn it. You bastard. <laughs> that's when you push him off the yeah. box, you can get out of there. Like, all right. Yeah, that's. Yeah, fighting games, I've never. I've never on any fighting game ever been like that into it where I've I've always just played for fun anyway. See, so. I, I used to like fighting games until like I got to college and then I played with a few people who were really, really into it and it's like, you know, we keep playing or whatever and like I finally beat them once and they're like, We have to go again. Yeah. Until they beat me and I'm like, All right, great. No, that, this, that would this be sucks. my thing if I if, hate those I, w I would learn how playing. to play until I can beat everybody good. And I love to go to arcades when I was working at them. There'd be some dude up there just like beating everybody's ass and everybody would be pissed off. So as soon as I got on break, guess where I went? I go put in and get it like 50 cents because I've been playing the game like. Did he do it where like you put a quarter on the thing? Yeah. Like, is yeah. That, I've yes. never been around like, like yeah. that. That's, go, that's always old, you old put, school. You put your quarter up on the thing and then you wait your turn. I take like a dollar and break change and it's 50 cents a game. And I put up, I put 50 cents in at my turn and I put 50 up there. Um, and this dude's probably been beating like four or five people the whole time. But, you know, little does he know. For the past like four months on my break time, this is what I do when it's dead. I come and play this game. So yeah. I'd pretty much let him pick. So, you know, I'd, I'd pick like the one I was just learning on. So it's like I'm the weakest one. But like with Jago or that Spinal, which was a skeleton guy, he had this combo where he'd turn into you halfway through it. He'd like start punching at you, swipe you with the sword, hit you with the shield, and then go like that and turn into like a puff of uh, smoke. And then he'd come back as a black and white version of whoever your character was, and then kick your ass as you, and then turn back <laughs> into him and knock you into the sky. So I got like into that so hardcore. Like yeah. I learned how to do all of his combos because I figured out he could do that. So I'd be, you'd, I'd be playing you, and I'd be playing you with this, this skeleton dude. He's a pirate with like a big sword like that yeah. and a shield. So I'd walk up to him, just like, and he'd turn into you, turn back into him, and like 
knock you up and they're like, what the fuck, you know? <laughs> and I'm like, hey, you know, I'm, I'm pretty good at two. <laughs> yeah, it's a pretty fun game. Yeah, <laughs> you know? I should play this. This is only my first time. <laughs> <laughs> I would never tell them. But like, everybody who was really good at that arcade, they knew that I worked there. Mm. So, they, you know, after that first time that I beat them, they'd be like, oh, you know, this guy's probably always playing. But then, like, everybody around me who's been losing to this guy's like, yeah! <laughs> you know? So I'd have, like, a little, jerk. <laughs> yeah, I'd have a little crowd of, like, people cheering. Nice. But yeah. that game was, was it was mind-bending when it came out. I really, like, I think that took fighting games to a whole other level. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because unfortunately when I started playing games, home consoles were starting to take over, so I never really got into arcades that much. I mean, I, I've gotten Dave & Buster's every once in a while, but I'd always play, like, the the, shoot, the light gun games. Those were always yeah. my favorite. Well, mm-hmm. the closest thing to those, 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 those kind of games now is, like, the Dance Dance Revolution games where you can go up and challenge somebody else, but I that's never, not Yeah, like I never got into those. I was like, eh. I never did it in public. I bought one. <laughs> I, I, I had one. I played it for about a couple hours, and I'm like, all right, I'm done. Yeah, it, it was, it was, it was all right. I was, I'm, I was not good. Like I, I, I could play it a little the bit. He was like, Jimmy, get better at this. Yeah, you suck. What's yeah. wrong with you? So how do you know my name? Yeah. We know everything. This is Jimmy, why do you even try? They're laughing at me. Um, <laughs> we are streaming this straight online. <laughs> the world is laughing at you, Jimmy. Oh, well, nowadays, that's what happens. Jimmy <laughs> speaks at dancedancerevolution.com. <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, arcades for me, I never was too crazy about. Uh, but every time, like we go, like to uh, like uh, what what is uh, what is the pizza place that's like a buffet? See little. Uh, CC's Pizza. CC's yeah. Pizza. And like, there's like a little arcade section. I play like The Simpsons or the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle games. Oh yeah, I love those. Games. So and like Lars Land. Did you ever play that X Men game? The X Men. Yes. People. Like yeah. the Ninja Turtle one with like the four. That was yeah. always cool. That, to play. Those. I mean, those games. And but I never really. I play like a quarter, and I'd maybe continue a couple times, but but I never was really into any of the games. But I, it was always fun. Yeah. You know, so. Well, uh, the other one that we had at work was uh, NBA Jam and NFL Blitz. Okay, oh, yeah. So when, when, we, when we weren't playing the, uh, uh, you know, Killer Instinct, we were playing one of those. Is that one of the ones where you can, like, save your, your yeah. point? Like, if you have, like, initials you, you or something? Yeah, code? you put your initials, you create a player, and, like, you can get a big head after a while. <laughs> <laughs> but then you can build up all your stats. So yeah. like after like two or three months, my guy's just unstoppable, and he's like dribbling around everything all fast and just like <laughs> slam dunking it from like half court. You know what I mean? Yeah, and you, the hus- with you the- hustle the people. You're like, I've never yeah. played this before. You put in like your PAT code, uh-huh. code and then. <laughs> like and there's the same thing with the stats. football too. Like the football always on fire. So you see the quarterback go back and his arms on fire and yeah. launch it to the end zone. <laughs> and there's one guy just out there running. It's on your team. And you're like, yes. Nice. Well, God, that's like those old arcadey football games. I remember on the, I think it was the N64, me and a friend used to play a football game. And what we would do is, like, one of us would be quarterback and the other would be the receiver. Yeah, that's what one you quarterback do. would go all the way to one end of the field, the receiver would go all the way to the other side. What we found out is you could throw it all the way across the field, <laughs> yeah. and if you timed a jump just right, you would always catch the ball. Yeah, yeah. So we're like, game's broken. We're like, we, we win. We can't lose against the computer because yeah, it's dude, like. That was so into that games was, until 2005, uh, from the very first time I played the Atari. Um, I never had the Atari, but I remember playing it. The, the next thing that came up was Nintendo One. I got that one, Sega Genesis, Dreamcast, uh, stuff like that. Super Nintendo 64. Just I would just rock it all. PlayStation came out and blew my mind. Yeah. yeah. Got the PS2, and I think that was the last system I ever owned. Yeah. Um, yeah. A P, uh, Xbox uh, 360. Oh, the 360. Okay, I had one of those two. Yeah. So yeah. 360. I did have I, well, I had a PS3 actually, but. Like, my friend still has it, but, uh... <laughs> oh, I had a PS3 once. <laughs> <laughs> it was fun. I, it I was fun. It, I didn't it have, was fun. No, I didn't have any games for it. I just had, I had a Dark Knight on Blu-ray. That's the only thing I had watched <laughs> oh, on that. Oh. And it, and, and that, so that's why I was like, sure, borrow it, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I, need, I need to get. I need to get, that. Lot of you need to get that back, dude. There are a back. lot of good games. There was a lot of games on PS2, like PS- uh, that Armor Core game. I yep, used to I fucking those. love that because you could build your own mechs, and I'd make like a really, really light mech, but um, able to carry like the biggest, heaviest gunnery around. Yeah. So I'd like have the super boosters, and I just start running up on shit like flying. Shh. I always loved having like the quad legs and stuff like that, and I'd like oh, nah. hover around and stuff. Like, oh, I loved quad. I legs. was like just the, the smallest everything, the smallest, yeah. lightest legs, the regular legs, regular arms, regular everything. But he would have the most powerful boosters I could make him carry. Yeah. The most powerful weapons I could make him carry. So I'd like 
once I got the fight started, you would just be like assaulted, like hardcore, and you would be like, what the fuck, you know? <laughs> and I used to play my little, my little brother was uh, the the guinea pig of for you. everything. It's like ever since he had to be Luigi his whole life, you know what I mean? <laughs> so like ever since the Nintendo, he's been Luigi, and yeah. like. Every time we get games, I just sit there until I master it, and then I let him try to play, and then like I just, <laughs> just demolish him. him. Yeah, that's um, what, yeah, that's me and Madden with my younger. Yeah, younger I beat stepmother. my brother like seventy-five to zero. You know what I mean? Eighty-six <laughs> he picked, to three. He picked like some crazy team. I picked like the European like yeah. team, and still win. He'd be like, "Oh, you're a jerk." He's like, "All right," I'm like, "Go ahead and pick the all Madden team." And I'm like, I, "I'll go pick like the." The Fresno Mud Dogs, you know, like that. <laughs> oh man! Yeah, and yeah, what you're saying, uh, Madden '95, like yeah, it was like the first Madden game I ever had. It was like on, it must have been on like Nintendo or something, but it, like you weren't first person view; you were on top. It That's like, yeah, but like it was still so up on top. Yeah, whatever. and it's just yeah. circles and. <clears throat> but yeah, you could do that whenever you're playing the computer. You run all the way back and. They would all the whole defense would just, just follow you, you. Yeah, so and, and then so them. you could just throw it to anyone and always get a touchdown. I we beat the computer all the time, <laughs> just, just with that. And oh man, it was so fun. I did like it when they like made those sport games like basketball and football with uh, like the extenders where you could like extend the amount of people that could play. Yeah. Um, I think Nintendo did it with a sixty-four where they had four of them into the box, right? Yeah. And that they were trying to push that Star Fox game, which is yeah. another badass game by yes. the way. Yes. Star Fox sixty-four. Star was Fox amazing. sixty-four is the Bomb, dude. Never, never played it. You've got to try it, man. I said, I had a friend. Peppy, no, Slippy. <laughs> <laughs> Back when we were in what, middle school, or I can't remember, maybe it was probably middle school, but. Like we had a snow day, and so we went back and we spent the entire day playing Mario 64 and Star Fox, and Star 64. Fox 64. We just we would take turns, and we 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 went through the game. I don't know, probably it's like eight times. One of the best times. games, like you oh, can barrel awesome. roll, you can you like Star uh, Star Wars shooting them, yeah, and you're the fox, game. but it has like four screens. So like there's the fox, there's Peppy, which is like a rabbit or something. There's Slippy the frog, and then Falco the the falcon. So everybody's like split screen. Four people can play that yeah. at once, and you're like. Com like comboing up on missions and shit. I, I watched awesome. a video where they actually said like the barrel roll uh -huh. yeah. in in Star Fox isn't actually a barrel. It's roll. an aileron the, roll. Yeah, yeah. That's what it is. is that yeah. Game Theory? Yeah, Game yes. Theory. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's a good series. Very good channel. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, Game Theories and then that Did You Know Gaming? Definitely watch it. And I'm gonna link those in the description. But yeah, uh, yeah definitely. But yeah, that, you, you kind of said it at one point. Uh, Star Wars. So good, oh, good, there we go. Yeah, <laughs> so anyway, let's get to the actual thing we've been meaning to talk to you the, about uh, this entire the first episode. Uh, rundown. Uh, point <laughs> we go to, um, Star Wars. The uh, first uh, footage tra yeah, 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 uh, teaser, teaser teaser came out. Uh, what y'all think? Jesus. What is what are you like the? I think they didn't really tease shit. They just showed a well, weird, well, that's, that's a, what random, a weird droid, a weird lightsaber, and the Millennium Falcon. Well, that's what it was like supposed to be. It. That was the point. It was a te yeah. It was just supposed to be literally a here's a few frames of footage. That's it. That's all we're giving you. Yeah, we're not gonna tell you what they, the hell this is about. I think they should have waited. They shouldn't have released that. It doesn't do anything for me. I well, I it's, it, I liked it. It depends. I, 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 like, I already want to see the movie. Yeah. I'm not gonna want to see it more because you know. That, You'd be surprised. I mean, it, it's they've been doing marketing tactics it comes like out that. What, where, next ne next like June winter, or July or, or something summer? like that. I think next summer. Oh, or, oh. or no, was July? It? Maybe for my birthday. Maybe. I, I think so, I next know. summer. They what's the Marvel? The next Marvel movie? Are they doing another Avengers? Avengers, Avengers two, Avengers is the next one. Yeah, that's an Ant Man gas, that. So, but I mean, have to I deal with that shit. And maybe you know in the mean? winter, I don't know. I, I was thinking summer, maybe, but that something was. I know something's coming out in summer. Something yeah, big. I don't know for sure, but uh, but yeah, it, it had a few glimpses of, of like what it's gonna be. I like what what part it did looked, like it. Well, there's yeah, a couple, but the feel of, of the world was more reminiscent of like the original trilogy. Yeah. That's what I really liked about it, because... Oh, yeah. They, oh, I thought the X-Wings looked pretty cool. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, it, it looked, you know, they looked like they kept the similar design, mm -hmm. but they updated them a little bit. Yeah. I mean, it's supposed to be in well, the future, so they before, couldn't be... Before, the only time you ever saw an X-Wing that close to the ground is when uh, Skywalker went to Dagobah with yeah. Yoda. Mm -hmm. And then this one, they have him kind of, like, skimming across the water. I thought that was a cool shot. Mm -hmm. Because you don't. The only other really time you see those is um, on dirt. Hoth, and when they're fighting, but they're fighting up high, yeah, yeah. or in space. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, so they actually I, saw it more, more on, like on the on, on ground or near ground. Yeah, and then they had the new, like a, a new type of, uh, like, droid R R two <coughs> ball thing, yeah. ball thing. Yeah, that was a little weird. I don't know how the hell that head's supposed to stay on. Well, that. they're they're actually like I, I was reading about that earlier, and that's actually the. 
the original concept for R two D two was he was just a a ball and he would be able to go any way on that ball and just have his head on top. There's actually a cart a comic XKCD did a comic where they wanted to put a computer in a hamster ball and they kind of figured out how they could do that, like with magnets and bearings and stuff like, like that. that keep, yeah, if you can have it kind of float in the middle so it's those, not the segways that they, that's what they use, right? To keep them from like so, slipping back or forth. Yeah. And yeah, to keep to keep that head on top and still have the ball be able to move using magnets and, and certain different types of things. But it is possible. So I mean that was pretty weird and then the new lightsaber with the I uh, kind with of the thing. hell or whatever. I, I thought it was cool but yeah like it's I'm a cool a idea but it looks kinda of funky because it's like, you know, why is a lightsaber need you know like it can it's have a hilt but, but why but why laser hilt? You know, mm-hmm. why not just you know, why not just have like a cool you know, it could have just been like more metal or something like that. It more had to be, metal. It had yeah. to be laser. It looked kind it of weird. Metal. It did did look kind of weird. And there's been parodies of that all the time. There's already. I mean, even though it's just been released, there's there's like parodies of like a person like having like uh like it has it looks like a cross. So he's and then Jesus. They have Jesus in the background. I with saw that, that with picture, a, yeah. a, a, a lightsaber that's a cross as well, and they're about to fight. And then there's other ones where, like, the person has a lightsaber and, like, it keeps going through all the different types of things. And it's, like, a, a can opener. So, <laughs> and then, like, one that has, like, ten, like, ten beams out of it and all these weird things. But, uh, but yeah, I mean, it's, I, I don't think they necessarily had, to, could really improve yeah, upon a lightsaber. It's still future, freaking awesome. What would it do to make it, you know, what does that do to make that, makes that weapon better as well? I mean, they'll probably use it as, like you said, like, as, like, a, a thing that they can, well, like, it's, a, it's, a punch with. Or well, like, it's a hilt now, so, I mean, like it's a stabbing or something. You can get it stuck in the, the middle there. It's That's true. It's a little like, bit like extra the, protection. It's like the, a hilt. Uh, I mean, the one yeah. that's, the, what is it, Darth Maul had with yeah. the, the two, the double. like, that was probably the, the best thing I've ever seen as yeah. far as lightsaber. Yeah, there's, like, a side-by-side like the first trilogy had this the one lightsaber the second trilogy even though it's before had like two and now this one has three beams so yeah oh, man. so it, it's that's a, actually an interesting thing i didn't yeah that's a yeah i mean i guess if they do another trilogy after that there'll be four so like mm-hmm. i guess it could they could do a double lightsaber with two i don't know but I, the lightsaber still like one of i the think best if they're gonna do weapons. four yeah, it'd be double it is the best two fantasy home, weapon mm-hmm. well yeah what, it, what else is there fantasy weapons i mean Star Trek had like phasers and stuff. That's not really, and they had some like blades and stuff like the, the uh, uh, I forgot the. I pretty much I think that could like pretty much fuck up anything. A lightsaber could fuck up anything. Yeah, well, sure. Like in the superhero realm, there's not a lot of shit that could stand up to one. Yeah, of it's one of the best weapons ever made, really, in sci-fi. I think. Yeah. Is, I I bet there's lists and it tops the list. Other than like black hole generators and stuff like that. I mean, there's there's some crazy ass stuff. Well, but yeah, but like yeah Thor, if you're talking about like an actual like melee weapon, then yeah, it's probably the best. Well, melee yeah, Thor's weapon. hammer would be one of the top up there too. But I don't know if it, you know I. I I don't that know who would win though. It's got a soul in it, dude. It's a it's a being. It's a living being. That Did thing. He, well, but think of it. A lightsaber can cut through living being. So I mean, I don't know. It's a enchanted. It's magic. Yeah, yeah, yeah so, it's magic. Uh, so I mean, and technically, we we can. It's all Disney now, so we technically could see a cross. Oh, around. that would be funny as hell. It'd be awkward. It's like yeah, man, I would not want to see that. Um, well, last week, and Rick, oh. well, we were watching like crazy comic book hero fights or whatever, and they did. Uh, what did they do? It was Batman. Darth Vader versus, Batman, versus Batman. Batman. Yeah, yeah, well, you haven't seen that? Uh-uh. Oh, we need Bat- to show Darth you. Darth Vader would kill Batman. Yes. Well, that- I'm not going to tell you. Oh. <laughs> he does, yeah. Like, he- Superman could kill Batman. Well, that's like the age well, but, old... but, but But the funny thing is, you say Superman can kill Batman, look, but every look. time they fought, Batman's always won. One yeah, on they've one, always. One on one, without any gadgets, in a fist fight. Superman would kick the fuck well, out. Well, yeah. Ball. If you take away the gadgets, of course. Yes, yes. Well, then, bat- well, then in that same thing, Superman would take away all his powers. No, no. I mean, as as just people to people, like Superman doesn't have to use. Like, tell him he can't use his X ray vision. No, just, he can't use his power. Batman's just, he has no powers. powers. He's as dense as he is because he's from outer space. You know what I mean? <laughs> he doesn't. He can't pull his punches to fucking fight. Well, okay. Now, if you take it away, the sun. Look at that. If you do okay, it in a completely well, dark and closed environment, see, the then probably is, Batman. The thing will is, win. like I said, uh, uh, Superman versus Batman. Now, with all the gadgets, it's fine. That's cool. That's what makes him who he is. But without those gadgets, he's fucking done. Well, no shit. Nobody would well, win against course. Superman. That's, you're like, oh, hey, let's have nothing that makes you special and go up against a super god-like Well, he being. can still fight. Batman is a hell of a fighter. Well, well but wrong. still. Arts, but, but it's like, but, you yeah, know, there's, there's a limit. There's no, there's no chance in hell he can have anything to do with that. Of course. Yeah. You can't. So, so, no, so back to what we're talking about. Batman <laughs> versus Darth Vader. 
Darth Vader could fucking Jedi choke him from across the damn room. You know what I mean? It's watch the video. It, it it's a good fight. He puts up a good fight. I mean, well, it's, I mean, it's I, a cool I do video. like like those DC uh, fighting games. Going back to like the video game stuff, those DC that last one that came out I thought was a really fucking badass game. Fight Injustice, I think it is. Something like yeah. that. Yeah. Justice Gods Among Us, I think is yeah, what it's that called. Yeah, sounds familiar, yeah. Um, uh, I played it a little bit. I wish I had, a, uh, you know, I wish I could have played it more. Well, because it was based off of the Mortal Kombat system. Yeah, that yeah. Was. It was the guys who did Mortal Kombat made. They had, like, the Flash. I think they yeah. even had Aquaman. Yeah, they had, yeah, yeah. They had, and they had like, the Joker uh -huh. and things yeah, like Joker. that. Yeah. Um, Parks and Rec did a, did a, has a deleted scene where Patton Oswalt, the comedian, you probably, you, you've heard of him, but, um, <laughs> He's uh, he does this uh, like this rant where he's supposed to be filibustering some council meeting or something, and he t and he writ writ wrote a screenplay of like a huge crossover series of all like like uh, Star Wars, Star Trek, X Men, Marvel, <coughs> all lit, like and then and he's like and then Wolverine comes out and he's like I'll get to that later. There's a <laughs> cross dimensional breach that <laughs> occurs and it's just a huge like and he goes on for a while in the deleted scene like in the show they don't show that much of it but has all these like crazy side things he <laughs> like crossovers about. and things i liked him in that reno 911 show where he's dressed up uh, in like his larp stuff and he's like you gotta know uh, i'm immune to prismatic bursts and, and like uh, uh cones of, of frost and like you mean the guns or the mace or something they mace and he's like ah yeah pat knows <laughs> awesome dude. he's he's one of the cool like nerd comics yeah like he's he, funny he was on this one podcast called uh nerd poker with brian posein and he brian he's, posein is he, crazy he used to shit play D, D with all like these awesome comedians now um but he, he came on to the episode as like a guest and made like this epic like poem like epic poem about like the characters and it's okay. hilarious because it's it's crude and crude humor and stuff like that i'll find a link but uh Patton oswald's awesome but um but yes yeah, the star star wars came out and uh i don't know i liked it i mean i i'm going to see it even without oh i plan to see I, it i plan to see it it was one of those of when i first heard about disney taking over star wars i was not excited but then when i saw guardians of the galaxy i was like Okay, maybe Dude, this may can, not suck. They you can know? make movies. I'm like, Ooh, what are you talking about? Like uh, Disney taking over Star Wars? I oh, man. You no, know, I, I was always thinking they were going to, you know, neuter it, basically. Guardians but then of when the I Galaxy the... took Star Wars. I, I think it helped every other superhero movie that's going to come out after that. I think it just helped it like 10 times. I hope it, yeah. yeah hope Because it. I hope it raised the level. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's oh, so yeah. good. That movie is so good. So hopefully, other people, other well, movies will. You know, that's what we, we've to. talked about before. It brings all the best stuff from like Star Trek and Star Wars, and it brings in the other good shit from, uh, you know, Marvel superhero stuff, and it puts it all together. You know what I mean? So I, I, I think it's got the best of both worlds, and it fucking executed it brilliantly. Yeah. So, um, so yeah, about, about out of time, but, but uh, yeah. So definitely, we'll we'll po post links of all this on our on on the website, thinkingoutsidethepod.com. Go there. You'll find all of our links. Uh, I know we didn't really get into much news this yeah, episode. Well, that's fine. I, 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 like, fun one I like I like yeah. tangents anyway. So uh, go uh, hit us up with your dreams yeah. at Pot Therapist. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so We're changing it again. Yeah. Oh man, I'm so hot confused. Just, <laughs> just write down. Go back and listen to the episode. Write down all of the hashtags. It's probably going to be at your 140 character limit already. But write down all do the it. links. Um, no. But uh, but yeah, follow us. Follow us on uh, Twitter. Like us on Facebook. You'll be uh, informed for all of our updates. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. YouTube. That's going to be uh, a, used a lot iTunes. more. Yeah, we're trying. Yeah, we're trying Listen to figure to out how to do it. Stitcher. Yeah, iTunes and Stitcher uh, comment and rape us and then things like that rape us. yes no not rape us <laughs> and then things oh, like okay. that but uh but that's about it we'll uh we'll talk to you uh next week <laughs> peace Bye. Thanks for watching our video, guys. Before you leave, don't forget to rate and subscribe so you'll be informed for all of our future updates. Make sure you visit our social media sites like Facebook, Twitter, um, or visit the website, thinkingoutsidethepod.com. All the links will be in the description below. 